pretty snappy action. This is supposed to be a tiny bit thicker than a bug out. pointless to do this because this is a very thin, very, very slicey, slicey knife. As you can see, it's hollow ground because of how the light reflects. Yeah. This is called the Wee Knife Kite Fin. And I've already wrecked the pocket clip once. This is that speckled carbon fiber stuff. And that's most likely a titanium backspace here, pretty sure. But yeah. All right, to give you a better idea of the size of this knife, here is my Benchmade bug out. The most famous, the most popular knife in the world for its thin profile, ease of use, and you know, great, great for work tool. And yeah, it's about the same size and it's very comparable. So I can get this, this thing is so thin, I don't know if it'll stand. Let's do it like this. It's come very comparable. There we go. The bug out's technically thinner. You can't tell because this Wii Knife Kite Fin has a swedge, but the bug out's thinner, just barely. But yeah, and then, but yeah, that's the Kite Fin next to a bug out. And then here's your famous ZT0562, another great slicer. And yeah, you can see the difference in size. So this is like maybe identical to a bug out and this you know how everybody knows this knife and then finally for comparison here is the 
mini Adamas, which is the same size as a bug out. So I think this kite fin is a great slicing knife with nice stainless steel, <clears throat> good precision. And these are axis locks, which I like the most. This is a liner lock, which is, you know, very reliable. No maintenance required. There's no springs have to be replaced. Yeah, this is a good, like, food knife. Probably a food knife and package opening knife. It is thin. And then, I mean, this is just more robust because of the steel choice. M4, which I always recommend. But yeah.